Much has been spoken and written about ISO 20022 over the years, and we make no attempt to recycle any of this material here today. So what's new? Well, in May 2013, an update to the 20022 standard was released. The new edition contains a number of subtle technical improvements to the standard, but in our minds, the most important change of all is the decision to open up the repository and make it publicly available. First, a quick recap. A history of 2022 in 60 seconds or less. The origins of 2022 can be traced back to the late 90s when XML first exploded onto the scene. There was an early push to create an XML version of the ISO 15022 standard, known as 15022ML. Soon after that, the scope was widened to include payments and other business areas. And finally, in 2004, the first edition of ISO 20022 was released. The 2022 standard is not just another message syntax, nor should it be considered a replacement technology. In other words, it is not designed to take the place of, a, of existing incumbent message standards and syntaxes. Rather, it is a method for developing standards and a framework by which message syntaxes can be made to coexist. Formally speaking, ISO 2022 is a multi-part standard including a well-defined modeling methodology and a central repository. However, for all the talk of the repository and the data model, there was no way to get to it. A rather clunky search facility was provided on the 2022 website, but otherwise no, ac no access to the repository was provided. It is perhaps somewhat inevitable then that for this reason many people do in fact think of 20 or 22 as just another set of XML messages. Fast forward to today and the 2013 release. As noted earlier, the repository is now publicly available for download on the 20 or 22 website. Within ISO circles there is an expectation that banks will start to integrate 20 or 22 based artifacts into their internal enterprise architectures and enterprise data management frameworks. We believe that the financial services vendor community can be a key enabler of this by incorporating the model into their products and tools. The purpose of this presentation is to briefly describe C24's plans. If you believe that 20 or 22 is the right thing to do, as we do, then our goal is to make the right thing to do the easiest thing to do. We are also a big believer in open technologies. 20 or 22 is an open standard, and it is in this spirit that we have decided to make the repository freely available as part of our open edition. Before we jump into the detail, first let's briefly discuss C24's core product offering. C24 Integration Objects is a data modeling, metadata management, transformation, and messaging integration toolkit based on Java technology. C24 simplifies the implementation, testing, maintenance of financial messaging standards using model-driven tools and pre-built standards libraries including Swift, ISO 2022, FPML, and FIX. You'll notice that 2022 is listed in the top middle box here. ISO 2022 messages have been available as licensable units of C24 for many years. This immediately begs the question, what's the difference between the 2022 repository, which is free, and the 2022 messages, which require a paid license? To answer this question, let's first remind ourselves of the overall structure of the 2022 standard. The repository itself comprises of a business process catalogue and a data dictionary. The relationships between these components are shown on the left here. The message definitions are available as XML schema. And messages that can be combined together to support a specific business process are grouped into message sets. Each message set has an overarching set of documentation called the Message Definition Report, or MDR. Currently there are 25 message sets in the 2020 or 22 repository. We show just a couple here on the right hand side. Everything you see here is freely available from the 20 or 22 website. Now let's talk about the licensable units of C24. These C24 modules are designed to mirror the message sets exactly. In the example shown here, the cash management message set is made up of four messages and one MDR. 
In C24, the message definitions are included in a single data object definition file, or DOD. Also included, as you can see here, is a separate DOD containing the validation rules. We haven't mentioned rules until now. Machine processable validation rules are not included in the 20 or 22 repository. Rather, they are described only in plain English in the message definition report. C24 takes the time to go through hundreds and thousands of pages of documentation to encode the validation rules into the DoD. This is a significant value add and justification for the license fee. The other primary value add that C24 provides is a guarantee that the libraries will be kept up to date over time as the standards evolve. Okay, now what about the model? The repository is publicly available as noted earlier. It is downloadable on the 20 or 22 website as a giant 30 megabyte plus XMI file. In order to facilitate usage and adoption of 20 or 22, we have built an import facility that automatically converts the published repository into a C24 DoD. This DoD is available as a free to download plugin for C24 IO Studio, allowing any user of C24 to work directly with the complete current catalog of ISO 20 or 22 business and message model artifacts. So what does all this mean? What's in it for me? Well, for starters, the C24IO Studio provides a nice graphical view of the model, easy to navigate around, and it's searchable. We think this will be of tremendous value for just about everyone who has an interest in 20 or 22. Enterprise and information architects, messaging development teams, and business analysts. For example, in our experience, Banks very often have license restrictions to tools such as XML Spy. With our tool, anyone will be able to view the 20 or 22 message definitions. To make life even easier, in the near future we plan to release a 20 or 22 model browser app for the iPad. Next, and in our minds, most important, the ability to generate internal enterprise architectural artifacts based on 20 or 22 building blocks. If you have ever considered the use of ISO 20 or 22 as a basis for your internal data structures, only to be disappointed and frustrated at the lack of technical support, then we encourage you to think again. C24 now plugs this gap. Once you have defined your 20 or 22 based models, then you can leverage the rich set of features and functions provided by C24, including the ability to generate Java code for production into for deployment into production and the creation of standardized HTML documentation. Okay, now we'll walk through a few example scenarios to illustrate the features of C24 IO 2022 repository. In this first example, we can see the structure of the repository in the Explorer window on the left. In the main pane on the right, we see that the message definition for the SESE.023 settlement instruction has been opened. By expanding and collapsing the individual message components shown here, it is possible to drill down and see the entire message structure. In the second example, we see that the list of business comp components has been expanded in the Explorer window. We selected the amount and quantity component and we can see how this component is defined in the main pane on the right. Finally, in this example, we see how C24 can be used to create a model based on 20 or 22 components. Here we see a model that represents the structure of the ISO standard for currency codes. Notice how all elements of the model are typed using 20 or 22 building blocks. From this model, we can now generate production quality code and create HTML documentation, which could perhaps be posted on an internal wiki site. And here we see a snippet of this documentation, just to give you an idea of what it looks like. And that's it. We hope that we've piqued your interest and that you like what you see here. We encourage you to download the open edition and install the 20 or 22 repository. We're doing all this for the greater good. We like to think that we're doing our bit to help the broader adoption of 20 or 22, and we feel very strongly that ultimately this is in everyone's best interests. Any comments and feedback are welcome and most appreciated. Now go, do the right thing, and model away. Thank you.